In Job chapter 1, read it from verse 1. The word of God reads, There was a man in the land of Uz, whose name was Job. And that man was perfect and upright. Notice the two key words in this verse. Perfect and upright. And another important word to take note of also is that he feared God and he eschewed evil. And uh, there were born unto him seven sons and three daughters. His substance also was great. His substance also was 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 yoke of oxen, and 500 shiasses, and a very great household. So that this man was the greatest of all men of the East. And his sons went out and feasted in their houses, in their houses, every one his day, and sent a call for the three sisters to eat and to drink with them. And it was so when the days of their feastings were gone about, that Job sent and sanctified them, and rose up early in the morning, and offered burnt offering according to the number of them all. For Job said, It may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus did Job did continually. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan, an uninvited guest, came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence them comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feareth God and escheweth evil? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for not? Has thou not made an edge about him and, thou, and about his house and about all that he has on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands and uh, his substance is increased in the land. But God, you put forth your hands now and touch all that he has and he will curse you to thy face. How many of you know the devil is a liar? Hallelujah. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, <laughs> all that he has is in thy power, only upon himself. Put not forth thy hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. Praise God. Sister Candy, take this word before the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word, my Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word, my Heavenly Father. We thank you for speaking to us this morning, my Heavenly Father. Thank you, God. We thank you for all that you're going to do, my Heavenly Father, this thank morning, you, my Heavenly Jesus. Father. We thank you, my Heavenly Father, for keeping that edge of protection around us, my Heavenly Father. Yes. So that when the enemy go before yes. you to yes. accuse us, my Heavenly Father, he have to ask, my Heavenly Father, can you remove your edge of protection? Yes. But Father, we know that you keep us covered, my yes. Heavenly yes. Father. Yes. We know, my Heavenly Father, that your angels encamped around yes. us, my Heavenly yes. Father. Day and night, Lord Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. Father God, we just want to glorify your name right now, Thank Lord you, Heavenly Lord. Father. 
And we thank you, Lord Heavenly Father, because mm. your grace is mm. sufficient for us, thank Lord Heavenly Father. Father. We thank you for your mercy. Thank you, we Jesus. We thank you, Lord Heavenly Father, this morning for your word, Lord Heavenly thank Father. You, Lord. Because, Lord Heavenly Father, Job, Lord God, was just and upright before mm. you, Lord God. But he was still tried and mm. tempted, Lord Heavenly Father. Thank you, God. But Father God, he had life, Lord thank Heavenly you, Father. Jesus. Heavenly Father. We thank you. Thank you, Lord. Because our life is reserved yes, by you, you Lord Hallelujah. Heavenly Father. No one else, Lord Heavenly Father. We give you praise, my Hallelujah. God, and we give you glory this morning. Thank you. Because you Jesus. alone deserve the praise. You alone deserve the glory. We give you glory and honor in Jesus' Hallelujah. name. Amen. 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 Praise God. I want to share with you on the topic this morning the suffering, praise God, of the righteous. Amen. Verse 1 says, in the book of Job chapter 1, There was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job, and that man was perfect and upright. Notice God's description of Job. Perfect and upright. Now, this does not mean that Job was sinless. Amen. If that was the case, you would not have been told in Romans chapter 3, praise God, and verse 23, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Amen. Job was not flawless. But Job perfection, amen, and uprightness referred to his honesty. His integrity, his sincerity, his singleness of purpose. He was perfect and upright in words, thoughts, action, and uh, his wholehearted commitment to God. Now, this perfect and upright man seek to do, amen, what? is right in the eyes of God. And uh, he was perfect and he was upright and uh, one who feared God. He was perfect and upright and he was God-fearing. Amen. Now, to fear God is not an unpleasant emotion caused by a sense of panic, dread, danger, and terror. No, this kind of fear, amen, is intense and harmful. Job feared God is a fear of reverence. Job, he reverenced God because of his majesty, his purity, and his holiness. Church, I want to show you that God holiness will never change. Amen. Therefore, in order for us to be holy, God requires us to separate ourselves, amen, from sin, unrighteousness, and all evil, and to be dedicated to God, holiness, righteousness, and uh, purity. Again, without holiness, church, none of us can see the face of God. It's good for us. We come to church, that's fine. We read our Bible, that's fine. We pray, that's fine. We worship, that's okay. Amen? Praise God. But we have to make sure that we are in right standing with God. Amen. And that is due, amen, praise God, as a result of holiness. Amen. Because without holiness, no man can see the face of God. Amen? Not carefully, he was perfect and he was upright, one who feared God and shunned evil. Amen. This means, amen, that Job avoided evil. Amen. Job, he stayed away from evil. Why? Because the source of all evil is Satan. Amen. Who opposes, amen, God's word in the world. 
the word that you're carrying, amen, the word that you're carrying, amen, Satan is in opposition, amen, to that word. Amen. If you believe in Jesus Christ, according to the scripture, amen, the out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water, Satan is opposed, amen, to that word. Jesus said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, Satan is opposed, amen, to that word. It is the devil's responsibility to be in opposition to the child of God. No matter what, praise God, amen, we, will not, we cannot please the devil. And even if you please the devil, amen, he's going to still destroy your life, amen? amen? Hallelujah, praise God. So Job, amen, fearing God and turning away from evil was the foundation of his perfect and upright life. That was the foundation, amen? Now verse 2 says, and they were born unto him seven sons, amen, and three daughters. Now, this man was the greatest of all men of the East, according to the scripture, amen. This means Job was one of the richest men, praise God, at that time. But Job wasn't only wealthy with an abundance of livestock. Amen. But most importantly, Job was spiritually rich and wealthy as a result of him putting God first. Amen. Praise God. And God greatly blessed that man. How many of you know that true prosperity, amen, is heavenly? Amen. amen. True prosperity is not earthly. Why true prosperity is not earthly? Amen. Because we can take nothing out of this world. Amen. Amen. For all the possessions that we have, amen, we have to leave everything behind. Amen. Praise God. But uh, praise God. The true prosperity, amen, is in heaven and we know that is eternal. Amen. So God greatly bless, amen, that man. Amen. Now, <clears throat> in verse 4 says, and his sons went out and feasted in their houses. Amen. Now, a feast in those days was a sumptuous meal. Amen. And the people who were invited, they were entertained lavishly. Amen. They ate heartedly. And sometimes the feast, amen, will last, amen, praise God, for days and, and even weeks. Praise God. Amen. Notice, amen, this verse says also their houses. Their houses, this indicate that Job sons, they were homeowners. Praise God. Amen. They control their own piece of real estate. The same verse says, and Job sent and sanctified them. Now, not carefully, in the midst of their celebration of their feast. Job sent and sanctified his son. Something went wrong. Now this indicates that the sins even of his sons require complete atonement and consecration. And by doing so, Job acted as a priest in his home. Notice, Job said, it may be that my sons have sinned. Now, the word sin means transgress, to transgress against God's will, either by omitting to do what God's word requires, or by doing what God's word forbid. Now, Job was also a spiritual father. Amen. Now, and this revealed that he was sensitive to the sins, amen, of his sons. Therefore, as a spiritual father, Job prayed for his children. You, the father, amen, in the home, it is your first and foremost responsibility to pray, amen, for your children. Verse 6 says, And there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before God. And Satan 
came also among them. This means Satan show up as an unexpected guest. He joined with the sons of God on this occasion. Now, this harmonizes with the fact that Satan still have access to the presence of God. That's why he is the accuser of the brethren. <laughs> Read the book of Revelation. Amen. Praise God. And it is in the, watch this, and it is in the presence of God that Satan questioned Job's character. He was perfect and upright, but Satan didn't buy in that. Amen. He questioned Job's sincerity, his righteousness, and his perfect and uprightness. As I said earlier, none of us is innocent as far as Satan is concerned. Amen. When Satan looked at us, he sees that we are flawed human beings. That's why, amen, God had to send Jesus Christ, amen, to die for our sins so that when we repent, we will be forgiven. But even when we are forgiven, Satan's still in buying that. He is determined, amen, to take us to his final destination. And that is the lake of fire. Amen. Now look at verse 7. And the Lord said unto Satan. This, is deep. this part is deep. We're getting deeper here. Amen. And the Lord said unto Satan, when thou comest. But God already knew, amen, the answer to that question. Yet he asked Satan, when thou comest, amen. And Satan answered the Lord from going to, amen, and through in the earth, walking up and down in it. That's why the Bible says, amen, that the, the devil, amen, is a roaring lion. Seeking who he may devour. And the, the, the devil knows even all those who belong to God. God also knows all those who belong to him. Amen. amen. Praise God. The devil is a liar. We all know that. But when he go before God and make an accusation, praise God. All that God, something God has to do. All that God has to do, amen, praise God. Is to withdraw himself because he know, praise God. When the devil, the devil say, "Listen, praise God." I see sister so so was in in, in the club last night, yeah. and now, now look, she's in church worshiping. She's leading in worship. Mm -hmm. The devil is not lying here because you were there. Right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So God knows all those who belong to Him. And the devil know all those who belong to God and who belong to him. Because the devil already knows that light and darkness, amen, do not agree. Amen. amen? Now what just? And Satan, praise God, answered the Lord from going to and fro in the earth and walking down upon it. Now, this reveals Satan activity, which is clearly shown, amen, that he traveled throughout the whole earth, amen, for evil purpose. That's why the Bible says that, amen, for the thief cometh not but for to kill, steal, and to destroy, amen. That's all what Satan is capable of doing. Kill, steal, and to destroy, amen, praise God. But Jesus, amen, praise God, he contrasts, amen, praise God, his work, amen, to the works of the devil. He said, but I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. And Jesus used the term might. Why use the term might? Because the onus is on you to accept, the praise God, the life that he offer you. Amen. So Satan asked 
access to the earth means that he is free to roam it. Mm -hmm. Because he is the God of this world. And when the Bible says that Satan is the God of this world, it pertains to the system of this world. Amen. Praise God. The culture, the evil practice. Amen. Hallelujah of this world. Now verse it says, And the Lord said unto Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? The word consider here means that Satan was studying Job, amen, thoroughly. His mind was fixed on Job. Job was the target. Whenever you're living a holy life, amen, praise God, Satan will target you. Amen. I said Satan is going to target you. But that is the time, don't give up. Because when, listen, when Satan targets you, it means that your life is in right standing with God. Hallelujah. It means that you are on the narrow road, amen, that leads to eternal life. Amen. Thank you, God. The trials, praise God, that comes, amen, into our lives to bring us closer to God. Yes. Yes. God allows trials in our lives to keep us on our knees. Yes. God allowed trials, amen, in our lives, amen, to keep focusing on him 24 hours a day. Yes, Lord. Amen, praise God. Seven days a week, mm -hmm. 365 days mm -hmm. every year, amen, we're supposed to be in the presence of God. Praise God. That's why the Bible says in his presence, there is fullness of God. He said, I'm a very present help in trouble. Amen. Why would you run from your trouble when God said, I'm a very present help in trouble? Yes, thank you, God. Amen. You just have to endure the persecution, endure the test, endure the, uh, the adversities. Amen. Pray. It is God's will for you, amen, to go through, amen, the process. Amen. Pray. Because when you're going through, it's also referred to the process of purification. God is revealing, praise God, and He, praise God, is strengthening you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So don't run from the situation. Don't be like a child of Israel in the wilderness. Amen. They saw miracle, amen, and they were complaining. Hey. Amen. Praise God. All the good things that God did for them, praise God. Amen. Bringing them out of Egypt, mm. amen, into, praise God, uh, the wilderness, mm. from the wilderness into the promised land. They were still complaining. Mm. Mm. Amen. amen, praise God. Amen. Just accept that the trials, of praise God, yes. are something yes. that you will use to defeat Satan. Hallelujah. Bible says that we have overcome them. Mm -hmm. Amen. We are not going to overcome them. But we have already overcome them. Yes, we overcome the trials. Yes, Lord. We overcome the adversities. Yes, we overcome the pain. Amen. Praise God. We overcome the obstacles. Why we have overcome these things is because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. You are not going to live up, praise God, amen, a worry-free life in this world. Amen. There will always be trials. Amen. Have everyday trials. People go through trials every day. Life is plagued with problems. Amen. And the only time that we're not going to experience problem, amen, is when, praise God, we finally walk through those party gates. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And the Lord said. And the Lord said unto Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? Amen. Now watch this. It was God who initiated this dialogue. Exactly. It was God who initiated, amen, this conversation. Not Satan. Mm -hmm. amen. amen. It was God who initiated this dialogue, amen, that would lead to Job. Tested and trials. 
Now, although God knew what uh, Satan was up to, it was God who called Satan's attention to Job and pointed him out. It was God who allowed Job to be tested. Do you know why God had to allow Job to be tested? It's because Job had never been tested. And uh, the Bible says all those that will live godly in Christ will suffer persecution. Whenever you're going through struggling life, I praise God, and you don't want to do nothing that is wrong, praise God, but you're going through the struggle. The struggle is a clear indication that you are fighting the good fight of faith. That means don't give up. It means that you are in right standing with God. We don't like it. None of us in here, praise God. We don't like to encounter trials. Praise God and adversities. Praise God and all of these things. And these things that collapse on us suddenly. We don't want to experience these things. Amen. But God has reason for allowing us to go through these things. Mm -hmm. Because we, we know God best Amen. when we're going through, praise God, because Hallelujah. he keeps our attention. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. What I'm preaching here to you is what I personally went through. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And the more you go through, amen, praise God, the more the anointing, praise God, Hallelujah. increase in your life. That's why the Bible says all those that will live godly in Christ will suffer persecution, praise God. And sometimes people who go through so much in life, praise God, when these people pray, praise God, you want to know they're crazy. Hey, amen. But the devil don't like that part of their personality, amen. When you are a crazy worshiper, when you praise in God as if you're crazy, like if you're out of your mind, you just continue to praise God and let that devil know, yeah. praise God, that I shall not be moved. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen? When you're going through and you are a praiser, amen, that scared the devil. It scared him. Amen? Because you don't know, praise God, what more can I do to this, to this woman of God? What more can I do to this man of God? Praise God. I, I, I give my best. I throw my best dance to her, but she is still crazy worshiping me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. But Thank you, Lord. He's not going to give up. Nope. He's going to be relentless. And that's why the Bible says, pray without ceasing. Don't stop praying. Bend your knees every day before God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Make your request known unto Him. Thank you, God. And pray specifically. Mm -hmm. Don't just pray. I think she was mentioning this morning. Amen. Target. You, you, have to, you have to be strategic in your prayer life. I praise God. Amen. You, God. you have to target something. You. Because you don't enter into battle without a strategy. And prayer is spiritual warfare. Yes. Amen. So when you bend your knees, okay, you might say, well, ah, praise God, amen. Pastor, pray for me. But I want to know, praise God, yes. amen, what are the specifics? Amen. That's right. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Be detailed so that when I take it before God, yes. amen, pray, I can pray more effectively. Thank you, Lord. God, hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. So if God has said, but said, make your requests <laughs> be made known. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Now watch this. It was God who called Satan attention to Job and pointed him out. Amen. God allowed him to be tested. Amen. God told Satan, Job is my servant. Amen. But Satan still didn't buy that. He didn't buy that thing. Job is my servant. Job is uniquely committed to me. Satan. Job is faithful to me. Job is loyal to me. Job is dedicated to me. Amen. 
Notice God's evaluation of Job's character. <laughs> Hallelujah. To Satan, there is none like him on the earth. This is God's evaluation of Job's character. Amen. But this does not mean that Job at that time was a God only servant on earth. Amen. But it means that Job was closer to God than anyone else. That's where the jealousy comes in now in the church. Amen. Because when you're very close to God, praise God. Amen. I'm telling you, praise God, some folks is going to jealous you. But you have to continue. Amen. Praise God. Don't lose your spiritual dimension. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. You have to continue to persevere. Amen. And stay close to God. Amen. Amen. I prefer to stay closer to God than any one of you here. <laughs> and you're supposed to stay closer to God more than your pastor. Amen. Because God isn't going to fail you. But your pastor sometimes, praise God, when I'm not in my good mood, I might tell you something that you don't like. Praise God. Amen. Pray. So, so stay close to God more than me. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Are you listening to me, church? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Lord. Be closer to God more than your pastor because I'm going to make sure that I'm close to God more than you. Amen. Amen? That's right. Praise God. Now watch this. Amen. Oh God. So Job was closer to God than anyone else. Amen. God acknowledged Job highly. Amen. In the presence of Satan. There is none like him. Amen. God commended Job highly. In the presence of Satan. God paid his highest tribute to Job's character in the presence of Satan. Now, although God told Satan that there is none like him in the earth, Satan still attacked Job's character. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Some of you, you get upset and you get mad when your character is, a, is, is being attacked. Praise God. Amen. But that is the devil's job. The devil is going to use people to attack your character. Amen. Yes, no, when that happens, that's why I don't get mad when my character is being attacked. Amen. Because I don't know that's the word of the devil. Hallelujah. Amen. Notice, Satan continued to attack Job's character. Verse 9. Satan responded by asking God this question <laughs> Does Job fear God for naught? Mm -hmm. He said, he ain't giving up, you know, praise God. He need to get to Job. He didn't even try to convince God. He's even trying to put God against sin, uh, against Job. Amen. amen. In other words, amen. Job, fear you for no reason, God. Uh, let me just go further here. God, Job only serve you and worship you because of what? He can get out of you. God. Job righteousness that you are delighted in is purely self-serving. It's not genuine. Amen. Now, I must say this. Regrettable, this is true concerning some preachers today. Whose only motive is to serve God for personal gain. Amen. And Satan knew that. But in this case, Satan was wrong about Job. Why he was wrong about Job? Because Job's personal wealth consists of 7,000 sheep. <laughs> Amen. 3,000 camels. 500 oxen. And uh, 5,000 oxen and 500 donkeys. God gave Job the desire to invest in livestock, amen, and he became wealthy. Job, praise God, did not get his wealth, amen, praise God, from the congregation church. Oh, amen. 
He didn't become wealthy off, off of the people. And let me say this. No pastor is supposed to become millionaires off of the church that he pastor. No pastor. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. He was called to serve the people, not to get rich. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Notice, oh God, verse, verse then said, said to continue his attack on Job character. He said, finally, thou has made an edge of protection around him. He's attacking this man's character. Amen. Now, the edge of protection, amen, is a symbol that shields the believers from satanic attack. Amen. It is a, as I study for I discovered it is a spiritual wall of fire that surrounds the amen, the faithful believers who are devoted to God. That's why the Bible says, for the angel of the Lord, amen, and those angels report the flaming fire. Mm -hmm. They encamp around us, amen, praise God. Hallelujah. So we are protected. Amen. Praise God. Now, Oh God. Now this verse gave a proof of how absolutely amen secure we are from satanic attack. That's why the Bible says, for the weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal weapons. But they are mighty true God for the pulling down of strongholds, casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge and the glory of God. Ephesians 6 12 says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But they didn't say, For we wrestle not and stop there. But we still have to wrestle. It says, But against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places. Mm -hmm. Principalities, powers, rulers of darkness of this world. And spiritual wickedness in high places, amen, is referred to as a highly sophisticated empire of evil. Praise that, that work against the believers. That's why we have to be close to God. That's why we need that spiritual wall of fire around us, that edge of protection. Because if we are not protected, praise God, then, praise God, our lives can be destroyed. Amen. And that's one of the reasons why we have to be sincere, praise God, genuine, amen, and committed to doing the will of God. Amen. That's why he said also, I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. You will leave him. Amen. How? Praise God. Amen. By going back, doing the things, amen, of the world. You will leave him. But God said, I will never leave you. And I will never forsake you. But there comes a time when you have to stop trampling on the grace of God. You just can't continue, praise God, living in. Shall we continue to sin that grace may abound according to the scripture? The answer is an emphatic no. Amen, praise God. We can't continue, amen. There's a demarcation line there. We got to stop. Because you don't know, praise God, amen, when, praise that you are going to make the exodus out of this world. Yeah. Amen, praise God. That's one of the reasons why myself and Pastor Morton and Sister Adelaide, we were outside and we were talking some spiritual things yesterday. We were talking about dreams, we were talking about vision, praise God. One of the things that the Lord revealed to me recently is concerned our soul. We only focus, amen, on the natural, but we don't focus on the soul. And the Bible says the soul that sinneth, amen, now the soul is not the flesh. The flesh do sin, praise God, but the soul that sinneth, amen, it shall die. So when your soul sin in your dream, you might as well confess it. Amen. Amen. When your soul sin in dreams and in vision and in trance, sometimes when you dream, praise that you're, you're, you're somewhere else, 
That means your soul, praise God, is roaming. Oh God. Your soul is roaming. And if that soul does not go back in that body, you are dead. Yeah, That's one of the reasons why, praise God, you must always make it your duty, praise God. Pray and ask God for his grace and his mercy before you go to bed. God, hallelujah. Amen. That's why people die in their sleep because their soul did not go back. Their souls were captured by demonic forces. Oh God, I think that's not something. Amen, praise God. So what am I word of encouragement to you, church? Get close and closer to God because of you don't know, praise God, what tomorrow will be. Hallelujah. The soul that's in it, it shall die. You gotta deal with your soul also. Amen. The word of God, Paul said, I pray God that the very God of peace will sanctify me holy. And he said, I pray God that my whole spirit, he begins on the inside. He said, my whole spirit, my whole soul, God, and my whole body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Don't take things for granted. Amen? Praise God. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. But we don't have a physical body only to deal with. But we have a spiritual body. Amen. Amen. We don't see. We can't see the spirit and we can't see the soul. Amen. That's why, again, let me reiterate. When you, sit, when you sit in dreams, make sure that you get it right. Amen. Amen. Repent. Now ask God to forgive you because spiritual things is just as real as natural things. So, with this, God be the glory. Great things He has done. Amen.